may be. At the end of the day, it's only Jesus Christ who is the real king. He, Christ is the king who shows compassion in the chaos. He's the king who shows surplus and scarcity. He's the king who gives protection in the midst of problems. He's the king who brings deliverance in the midst of danger. And I don't know about you, but I'm so glad today that I can say that Jesus Christ is the king of my life. But in the past it says that his dominion is an everlasting dominion that should not pass away. Y'all missed this out. His dominion, his authority, his power is everlasting. And I don't care what comes. I, I don't care how it changes. His power and authority will never pass away. And this is significant. Because when we look at earthly kings, in one way or another, their dominion will all pass away. And in one way or another, one day they'll they pass away. Where they cease to be the king or the queen. That there may be dissension in the kingdom, and in one way or another, the power they used to have, they won't have anymore. But this is not the reality with the kingship of Christ, because his authority is everlasting. There will never cease to be a time when God does not have power and authority. And I'm so glad that I don't care what rises up against us that the power and authority of God will always stand. And you know, it's important to know that we understand that we serve a king whose power will not diminish. And the reason that it's important to know that is because every day of our lives, it seems like it's something coming on one side or something coming on the other. But can I tell you today that the king we serve is more powerful than anything that we have to face. Can I tell you that King Jesus is more powerful than the people who would drag your name through the mud. The King Jesus is more powerful than the people who would stab you in the back. The King Jesus is more powerful than the doubts that try to kill into our minds. The King Jesus is more powerful than the uncertainties. The King Jesus is more powerful than the uncertainty that tries to cross our minds. I don't care what comes. Nothing in our lives are more powerful than King Jesus. And so the passage concludes at the end of verse 14 when the text says and his kingship is one that will never be destroyed. Another reality of an earthly kingship is that the king can reign just as long as he has the army to beat his enemies. The day another king attacks, if he has a more powerful military, that's the day that the king ceases to be king. And in fact, he will have to bow down and salute somebody else. And, and this is the reason through the Middle Ages and through the rise of the nation state, we saw just how kings had to have powerful militaries. Because any time another king would come and they won a battle, his whole kingship would be over. But can I tell you that when our king is Jesus, we have the assurance of knowing that his kingdom will never be destroyed. That there will be some forces that try to rise against him. But can I tell you that our king has a track record of overcoming every force that's ever risen against him. Herod rose against him. 
but he could not destroy him. Religious leaders rose against him, but they couldn't destroy him. Pontius Pilate rose against him, but they could not destroy him. Roman soldiers rose against him, but they could not destroy him. The cat of nine tails rose against him. But it could not destroy him. Death rose against him. But I cannot tell you that not even death could destroy him. And brothers and sisters, it's because our king is who he is that we are able to face every challenge that will rise against us. Because I don't care how big or bad the challenge may be, they can never destroy the kingdom of God. Well, in closing, when Jesus is our king, we have to learn that no matter how enticing other things and other people look, we got to keep our trust in him because everything else in 